How you guys doing? Well, today we're going to talk about the L'Oreal 9201-1 Water Ghost Series watch. All made in China. Made by the Shenzhen L'Oreal Watch Company Limited. And they've been in business since 1993. Now this L'Oreal 9201-1 contains an automatic seagull DG2813 movement. The Seagull movement has 22 joules. And it's made by the Tianjin Seagull Watch Group. And the Seagull is the largest producer of mechanical movements in the world. And they have one quarter of the total global production of watch movements. Now if you notice... Uh, the L'Oreal in the video, you can get a good look at that seagull movement through the see-through case back. The see-through case back is made with hardened glass. And if you notice the inner links of the of the L'Oreal, you can notice how flat they are. And if compared to the Invicta Pro Diver, those inner links are rounded, but this these L'Oreals, the inner links are flat. If you notice. You can get a really good look at that seagull movement in this video. And so it's a seagull GG2813 movement. And the watch itself is 316 stainless steel, screw down crown, date feature, sapphire crystal. See through case back as you can see. 40 millimeters diameter, 20 millimeters band width, 24 millimeters band length bracelet clasp, deployant clasp, and there's a slight luminescence on the indices as you can see. There's very little to no luminescence on the hands, which is quite strange because you would really want more uh, luminescence on your hands and maybe less or just as much on the indices, but this one's a little bit backwards. It has more luminescence on the indices as you can see. <clears throat> You can see that the hands has very little to no luminescence. So it's a little bit backwards there on the luminescence, in my opinion. But I guess it's better than nothing, right? And these aren't extremely expensive watches. And the automatic movement has 22 joules. The case thickness of the watch is 12 millimeters. But you guys think. And I think that you could get one of these watches pretty easy for under a hundred dollars anyway and they're do they do sell them on AliExpress so what do you guys think of this